hello again and if you're like me and you're trying to sell your clothes from your wardrobe the rules on eBay changed this week and it's a good thing for us well welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Zoe and I'm in the process of decluttering my home and selling all of my possessions so that I can go full-time traveling and um, I have a lot of clothes as you can see this is just oops, this is just one wardrobe and I have three filled like this in fact the other two are worse and what I've been doing because I'm trying to get rid of everything is like putting the clothes out and you know, they're not ones I'm going to keep or give to charity or they're still... Like, I've got a lot of clothes with tags on still that I've never worn, so I'm trying to resell them. Um, and I've been using Vimted because Vimted has no fees. And I've stayed away from eBay because of the fees. And they can be quite high and make it really not worth using them. But the rules changed this week. And now there are no selling fees, listing or transaction to sell your old clothes. So the rules changed this week on the 8th of April. And what it means is if you are selling within the clothing category and you're a private seller and it's pre-owned clothes, then you can sell with no listing fees and no transaction fees. Now when it says um, pre-owned clothes they don't have to be well worn so if they've got tags on like uh, quite a lot of mine have I don't know if this, yeah like this one here still got its tags on I never wore it um, I can still sell this because I'm a private seller and it's pre-owned so a couple of things to note because everything always has a caveat it only applies to UK private sellers and it only applies to sales you make nationally. So if you sell internationally, you won't pay the transaction fee and you won't pay the listing fee, but you will pay the international fee. So what that means, ladies, is we can only sell to ourselves to avoid those fees. And also it only applies to those in the clothing category and it does not include accessories. So we still, cannot avoid those pesky fees if we want to sell our shoes, our hats, um, our belts, all the accessories. So it's just clothing. But I still think this is a great step forward. And this is a permanent change. This is not something that's just for this month. eBay have said this is permanent. So this is just great news. And if you had items on eBay before the 8th of April that are still running, they're included too. This is fabulous news. So it gives us a lot more options if we're trying to declutter and, you know, sell off our clothes, especially those that have still got labels, like about 40% of mine. Anyway, I hope that's helpful and thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. I'm now going to go and tackle that wardrobe. Wish me luck. Ciao. I mean, look at all this stuff I have in here. Ugh. You know, and I don't wear a lot of it. I haven't worn a lot of it for a long time. It's like, I brought this dress. And I love this dress. But it just doesn't look right on me. Mm. I always keep trying it on to see if... It looks any better, but it doesn't. But as I'm going travelling, I need to be more ruthless. <laughs>